Okay, we are going to build our balloon powered car. Make sure that you have a rubber band and know that our axle is the same length as this one by six Technic brick. Also just note that my colors are probably different than yours. Okay, we are going to start by inserting um, our, our length six axle into this connector pin. Then we're going to take one of our um, discs and we're going to thread that in. Then we're going to take our Technic uh, brick, our one by 12 Technic brick. Now here's the tricky part. We're gonna leave a little bit of space and then we're gonna put on um, the full bushing and then the one third bushing. And there's gonna be a little bit of space. I can't tell you how much it's gonna vary just a little bit and we're gonna adjust it as soon as we start adding um, the extra ones on. So then we're gonna do the other side here. So we're gonna add our axle and then the disc and then a little bit of space. Add in that bushing, add in that one third bushing. So we've got this little bit of space. Now here's where we're going to figure out exactly how much space we need. And we're gonna do that by adding our four by eights onto the Technic brick. And you can see um, that sort of shows us like this is way too much slide. So what I wanna do is I'm gonna kind of try to do this as even as possible, which is a little, can be a little tricky because you might need to push on one side and then uh, push these in. What we don't want is for this to see how if I let go after spinning it, it just stops. That means that there's too much friction. So we want there to be a little bit of give to so see how I can spin it freely and it doesn't just stop right away. Okay, add in that second four by eight on there, making sure there's still a little bit of wobble to it. And now we're gonna add our uh, two by four bricks and one more that goes right in the middle. And you know what, I forgot a step we need to add this pin. This pin just goes into one side of this connector. All right, then we're gonna take our one by six and we're gonna add two black pins, one on each side. So it should look like that. And then this goes so it's facing the front of our car, like that, the front of our vehicle. All right, and then we're gonna add these tan uh, frictionless pins, one on each side. And then we're gonna add our pulley wheels. Now, if you wanna add the rubber to them, you can. I'm gonna go ahead and add the rubber to them. And just make sure that they're on in a way that they're spinning freely and not catching on anything. So they're spinning freely, not catching, limiting friction, testing those wheels, okay. All right. Now, the next part, you wanna make sure that our wheels are on. You wanna make sure that they're seated correctly. So you might need to pinch if they're not totally on. And then you have two sides. You have the concave side and then this kind of flatter side. And if you have enough room to do the concave side and it doesn't touch, so there needs to be a little bit of space and it spins freely, that's fine. Otherwise, you can Put it on the outside so it shouldn't matter which way you put the, the wheel in all right okay and then our last step is to take this uh, four by four and we just put it right on top and that secures this piece in so it doesn't go flying off all right, then, oops, this is an extra piece. Okay, to attach the rubber band, what we're gonna do is we're gonna loop it around the two black pins that are in the front, and then the black pin that's back here on the axle, so see how it loops around? And then we can twist the wheels, and as you twist, you're gonna feel that rubber band tightening, that elastic potential energy building, and then when you let go of the wheels, that's gonna spin that forward. 
So there's several ways that you can wind. You saw me just kind of doing it by holding the wheels and winding. The other way to do it is by to set it on the ground and then you just pull the vehicle backwards and see how that rubber band is tightening and then you let go and it's gonna drive forward. All right, just make sure that you check that your wheels are spinning freely, that there's not a lot of friction in the system. And when you're testing, you guys, if you have a variety of rubber bands, you could test a variety of rubber bands or uh, try redesigning this entire car. All right, good luck.